Hey guys, it's Bionic Pigeon here, up in the studio, and I just recorded this video for you guys, and it's Infinity Blade 2. It's gameplay of me fighting, uh, I think, a couple people to get to Thane, which is the first boss in Infinity Blade 2. And I'm going to show you guys me fighting against Thane, but it's not a very long battle or as epic because I have the Infinity Blade, so I end up killing him, like, super fast. But it's just gameplay of it and how Thane is, what he looks like, maybe some of his movements you can see and learn from this video, and the awesome scenery that they put him at and his throne and everything like that, and... He's just like kind of isolated up at the top of this pillar looking thing and there's a bunch of clouds everywhere and all this stuff. It's just really cool to just go to that location and just move the camera around or whatever just to look at the scenery because I really like Thane's location. I'd say Thane um, is probably one of the best boss locations to just stop and stare and look around at in this game. You're going to notice later on in this video that I did cut out some part. I think it was uh, going up the stairs, and then there's a guy over there. Then you get to the top, then you get to the close to the entrance of Thane. But uh, I didn't really record that battle. I uh, kind of thought it would be a waste of time for you guys. So I decided to record the second person that you would see before you get to Thane. And um, when you're fighting Thane, uh, you learn a lot about the Infinity Blade story. You're going to see a lot of dialogue, and you guys will be able to read it. It's in English. Um, the voice acting is really great in this game, really top-notch, just like a console game. And you're just going to see um, uh, Cyrus and Thane talking about, like, bloodlines and being immortal. And then Cyrus is going to, like, put his hand through the circle thing, which kills Thane and himself. But then Cyrus gets reborn because he's a deathless, so he has infinite lives and just keeps on going in bloodlines. So you basically do learn a lot in this scene after you fight Thane and before you fight Thane because they do have a very long conversation a very in-depth conversation as for clash mobs I've been playing a little bit of clash mobs but not that much I've mostly just been playing a single player and leveling up Cyrus and stuff I am currently level 45 if you guys didn't see yet but um, yeah I'm only level 45 uh, I'm not sure if that's too high or too low or right in the middle I, to me in my opinion I'd say it's right in the middle because this game has been out for six months now and I haven't really played so much of it or very vigorously because I've been playing other games as well. But I do always like to come back to this game. It's still my favorite game on the App Store. Just destroys all of them. Or not destroys all of them, but it's one of the best. It is the best game on the App Store. Top-notch voice acting, the unique gameplay, the insane graphics, um, and very immersive story still the best out there and I hope you guys are enjoying Infinity Blade 2 gameplay I'll try not to uh, make a lot of videos on Infinity Blade 2 like how I do with Nova 3 but I hope you guys are enjoying it I'm trying to switch things up I don't like to just play certain amounts a few amounts of games or just one game constantly to me that kinda gets boring whenever I see somebody on YouTube just constantly playing one game or sticking to those three same games like let's say Call of Duty, Halo, or Minecraft those are so popular and it gets kind of annoying and boring to me when I see YouTube people only play those three games because they might not want to try out other games or maybe because they just want to get a ton of views and they know those games get a lot of views or maybe because they don't really play that much video games they don't really know m much about video games so they only know about those three games because they're just so big and popular and everybody's playing them they're so mainstream especially Call of Duty <laughs> but yeah I always like to see variety in channels and game commentators because I like to see them play different games. Um, yeah, it's just really entertaining to see them play different games and see that they're not only skilled at one game or they can have a good personality and make other games funny as well. And um, the items I'm using right now are the Infinity Blade and my shield is the Cardboard Shield. Um, I've been just trying to max out all the items and shields and all the cheap items and stuff so I can just get my skills up and then buy the expensive stuff, but I did have to save a lot of money and um, buy a lot of cheap stuff in order to get the Infinity Blade because I knew once I got my hands on the Infinity Blade I would just own everybody in this game and be able to breeze through the story and when I did get the Infinity Blade I was like just going through the story really fast because I was just beating all the bosses very easily and the final fight um, uh, I beat that boss really easily as well once I got the Infinity Blade so saving up all that money was worth it when I got that sword but the shields, I've just been going randomly. I've just been getting some good shields and some bad shields and just leveling up my guy. But uh, I'm not too sure about my 
uh, armor and helmet, but you guys have probably seen it by now or will see it soon. And I also wanted to mention that I want to give a shout out to Donald Mustard, who's the creative director of Chair Entertainment, who are the people who made this game. And I want to give him a shout out because I sent him a message on Twitter saying, hey, I made this Infinity Blade 2 video, could you retweet it so all your followers can see and maybe I can get some more views. And he did re retweet it, so thank you very much. Um, it really helps me out and I did get some favorites and stuff like that on Twitter for this video. So um, I guess that tells me that uh, some people like my videos and my commentating. And thank you so much, Donald Mustard. You're awesome. Um, I hope you continue to make great games like Infinity Blade because uh, this game is amazing. <laughs> and I, I'm sure the reviews and all your Game of the Year awards and Best Touchscreen and Best Mobile Game awards are obviously telling you that and are paying off for you now. And, uh, and uh, congrats on Infinity Blade as a franchise making $30 million. And don't forget to um, let me know what games you guys would like to see me play. I'm thinking about playing some totally random games that aren't really related to just fictional games, like maybe some sports games, which would be really random, but I think it would be pretty funny to see me play and would be interesting to commentate over and just fun to explore different types of games and all these sports games and stuff. So let me know what, guys, what, vid what games you guys like to see me play because I've just been going with the games I'm comfortable with, but I feel like I should also go expand my horizons even more and play even more games so I have an even more larger variety for you guys to watch, which will be awesome! So, yeah. Um, your guys' feedback really helps me out, leaving comments below or maybe even PMing me if you guys don't want to leave comments because you guys might be afraid of trolls or the fights you might see in comments or whatever so even personal messaging me can help me out and letting me know hey can you play this game or whatever um, don't be afraid to give me feedback but yeah that's it guys thanks for watching this video of Infinity Blade 2 leave a comment below of what games you would like to see me play if you guys would like to see more footage of this game because I'm more than happy to keep on playing this game and don't forget to like the video, comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel. And also spread the word of Bionic Pigeon. You can add me on Game Center, Bionic Pigeon. Um, I'll accept your friend request. My friends list is not full. I only have like 16 friends, so there's tons of space for you guys. If you guys would like to add me, and maybe we can play some games together, and I'll put it up on YouTube if you would like. But once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Thane boss battle and learned something more about the Infinity Blade universe. See ya.